All right, Mopar fam, we're back. Got the motor kind of taken apart, transmission off. We're about to drop the pan for the first time and see what the carnet is. But from looking through this block window and this block window over here, we definitely have two broke rods. We know that for sure. Holy shit. Ah, that's a lot of parts in there, guys. Oh, crap. Tried to drain all the oil out of this thing, but there's so much crap in the pan, it didn't want to drain very good. So, not sure how much crap we got left. Oh, shit. Ah, that's a lot of parts in there, guys. Oh, crap. All right, let me get the that other bolt out. We got a chunk down there. What's that? That's some, uh, that's a good old, that's a good old block right there. good we got there's a top to a piston definitely uh, hit something something went boom boom there's a piece of the rod and a wrist pin that's awesome we got some uh, another piece of the piston All right there we can probably reuse that that ring looks good still, don't it? Yeah, just use some JB Weld. Yeah, we'll reuse that on the BGE. We got some more shit. Oh, there's another rod piece. A little bit of rod right there. Let's pan for gold. Oh my god, look at that. Holy shit. It's like gold panning. Yeah. We can save that. That's easy. Band-aid that one. Alright, let's take the windage. Let's take the pan gasket slash windage tray off of this joker where'd my tool go there we go we gotta have my special tool for finessing stuff get off of there you mangling piece of crap we should treat it better than that this it's been a good engine really shouldn't call it names it did everything it was supposed to do for a long time Hey, glue these things on good. Oh yeah, forgot we gotta get that off. Let me bust that uh, oil pump pickup tube off real quick. Man, that thing, that's good parts right there. Look, just a little bit of grit, a little bit of dirt. That's rebuildable right there. We'll put that in the keep bucket. We'll put that in the keep bucket. Alright, now let's try to take this thing. Ah, some more pieces. Oh! Oh, we gotta save that piece up. We might can glue that back on. There's another piece pan for gold oh all right 
Yeah, that's fixable. Look at that. Woo, my rod just, look. It didn't break off the crank. Both rods stayed together, the cap stayed on. But, uh, yep. All the other ones look good. Don't know what happened. Either we overpowered, either we overpowered the rod, which we know we were, or we had a failure up top that uh, caused it. So, to be continued. Now let's get the heads off. All right, Mopar fam. So, here we are. We got the motor <coughs> pretty much stripped down. You guys seen what the oil pan and all that carnage looked like. Um, we're gonna pull the heads. I got all the bolts out of that head over here on the, uh, what would be the driver's side. Um, no bent push rods, no broken springs. So not sure. I mean, did we overpower the rods? I mean, we know we were, but um, maybe that was what's up. Now we have noticed, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but we got a lot of valve springs that are like purple um like this one's normal but this one's purple that one's purple this one's purple that one's purple 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 and a little bit of purple same thing over on that side um so some got hot i don't know don't know what's up with that but let's get this head off All right, so this is the passenger side. This is the side that we knew blew up at the track. We didn't know the driver's side blew up until uh, this morning when we started tearing everything apart. Um, but this side is worse. It's got a much bigger hole. So we're gonna go with this side first. Well, the head's not as bad as I really thought it was. That's actually fixable. Um, plugs look good. Except for they got smashed because the piston busted. Uh, let's see. Definitely got a big chunk busted out in the cylinder wall down there. But I think that's probably from when the rod busted and the piston busted. some pieces up here on this side guys I think we just found the limit of stock pistons and rods it's really uh, it's really what it's looking at but I am concerned about the springs these are the Mopar performance springs um, I've been running these springs for three three years now maybe going on four but about at least about three years i think um we started with these springs with my very first cam when we was with jay green and uh kind of wondering why they're turning purple I'm, i mean i know we're working this thing we're over we're overpowering it for sure but uh wondering if something with them springs has anything to do with it but it didn't drop a valve we got no bent broke push rods no broke springs um, yeah, there we go, all right, let's see, 
this side was blowed up too. This the cylinder back here all the way in the back. That head looks good. It's got a little bit of a little bit of material up here. Um, but these heads could be could be saved, I believe. It looks like uh Man, this piston looks like it survived, but the rod did not. We broke this back rod and the passenger back rod. But the piston on this side is still completely intact, it looks like, so I'm kind of curious. Now, it does look like... You know what? I bet you this. I think it was the springs, dude. Look. So, I think all the valves just. If you look right here, there's a little mark on the piston there. There's an indention down here. Valve mark, an indention up here. There's a small one there. There's a pretty decent one there. one there one there I think yeah, I think, our, I, think, I, think I think the springs got too hot or the springs just failed um, even though they're still intact yep same thing still happened over here these pistons here got little nicks in them too the ones that got hot I think we was just over revenue what those springs are capable of at this power level honestly yeah and you can see marks on every single yeah. one what I want to do is pull this piston out, this one that's got a broke rod that's still intact, and see if it broke the ring lands in the top. Because that'll tell us. Hopefully it, it didn't break that. It probably broke the rod just because the damn, you know, the valves was kissing. And probably broke this one because that side over there really broke. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... We can reuse those head gaskets for the next project, you know what I mean? That'll save a hundred bucks. Just put some RT or Honda Bond Ultra Gray on there. Put them in a yard sale. I was gonna say, you think you can reach through this cylinder and push that one up? I don't know, maybe. I'm literally inside my motor. Maybe with a screwdriver I can. Let me get. literally inside frostbite right now. Come on. You can do it. There we go. How about that? Don't know if that's... Uh, I think this is carnage though from the other rod breaking. Yeah, that's my theory. But if you look, the part that always breaks on the Hemi guys is the top of this piston skirt. The top piston ring and the ring land usually cracks and there's there's no fractures on this piston from the top or around the rings. It's all carnage and broke down here below. Because the other one yeah. snapped. Yeah, because when the other one busted it went it went doo doo brown. I think it was the springs. I think the springs. Um, we were probably making, you know, this motor's probably making eight, nine hundred horsepower. To the tires, you know, per our weight and mile an hour on the track. I mean, we probably we guesstimating probably eight hundred wheel. Um, I mean, we were beating and hanging with red eye challengers. Um, so we were making some steam, but it looks like the motor failed because I think I'm gonna go with the springs. Those springs, uh, 
didn't want to keep up with the task is what I think maybe too high of RPM I mean we were shifting that that pass we were we crossed the traps at 7300 RPM on stock push rods and Mopar performance springs not pack or PSI or you know a better quality spring probably but uh but yeah I mean even on this piston you can see where the valve kiss there kiss there um, every single one of them's got a mark so kind of curious to see what's up with that now we haven't pulled the timing cover off yet so and there is a possibility did the chain break I doubt it um, possibility you know chain breaks at a time it make all the valves kiss um, but I feel like it would be a lot more carnage than just two cylinders and the valves would probably all be absolutely hammered um, if that happened so I don't know theory continues but you guys tell me what you think in the comments until next time stay safe out there I'm gonna get cleaned up we'll see you on the next one